Have you ever felt frustrated when you're losing weight and you want to reach a goal weight and you have this goal and you've been wanting to reach that for a while and you mess up? Now, people will call it failure or mistake or cheating and you beat yourself up and you go off your diet. This was me yo-yo dieting for decades where I would get upset at myself and I was aiming for perfection where if I didn't follow the diet perfectly, if I didn't lose a certain amount of weight, I would give up. Now that I've understood my sugar addiction and understood that the more sugar I ate, the more I wanted to eat, and it was the chemical substance addiction, then that's helped me now to understand why it was so frustrating before. There is that issue of perfectionism that can be very hard to overcome if maybe we've been raised in a very strict environment like I was where perfectionism was idealized. And because we're humans, perfection is impossible. So it's an impossible standard. And when you bring that into your daily life, it's a recipe for frustration and shame and guilt every single day when you're trying to lose the weight. And then when you're gaining the weight, you just feel horrible about yourself. And it's this roller coaster cycle. So perfectionism and aiming to be perfect is not a good thing. There's a quote that says, perfect is the enemy of good. Yes, I could have a better body. I could work out more. Yes, I could lose maybe five more pounds. I could be more perfect. But what is perfect? No person is perfect. I went to the beach with my two daughters last weekend. I didn't go to the beach at all last summer. I didn't like my body. I had cellulite. I have cellulite. I was flabby. I was out of shape. I had my hysterectomy. I wasn't feeling all that great in a lot of ways. I didn't like how I looked. This year I said, F it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to be in my two-piece bathing suit. I'm going to be in my short shorts that my daughter lent me. I don't care anymore and I don't have this expectation of being perfect. Maybe it's partly because I'm getting older you know, being wise in my 50s. But a lot of it is just accepting the fact that, oh, I'm never going to be perfect. Now I've gotten to the ideal weight that I wanted, but I still don't look the way I wanted to look. But it's good enough. It's good. Perfect is the enemy of good. I want to just be good. I want to like how I look in clothes. I want to be okay with how I look in a bathing suit. It's okay really ultimately what matters is my health. Am I going to be healthy for a long time? And so the way I'm eating now and being at a normal healthy weight is the best thing I can do for my long-term health. I wish I had learned about this earlier. I ate sugar for over 50 years, a lot of it. And now I'm, you know, having to make up for that by eating really healthy, but I don't know, 50 years of that addiction did take its toll and I might not live as long, but at least from now on, now that I know what I need to be doing and I feel so much better when I'm eating healthy and being at this healthy weight, then it's worth it. So it's good, it's good enough, it's not perfect and it's never gonna be perfect. Try to take the expectations down on yourself, on your diet, on your way of eating and try to aim for good. Aim for 80% instead of 100. Actually, another quote I heard recently was, instead of aiming for 10 out of 10 on a lot of things, and then you end up being one or zero out of 10 on other things, aim for seven out of 10, 70%. Like, that actually makes a lot of sense. Aiming for 70% on a lot more things is gonna be a little bit more balanced than 10 out of 10 on some, which of course is impossible, but for aiming for that and then missing out on other things. Leaving more balance, aiming for good instead of perfect. Perfection is the enemy of good. Thanks for watching. This is the book I wrote after I lost 80 pounds and I wanted to share it with the world because I finally solved my yo-yo dieting dilemma. It's available on Amazon. It's, I have it in color, black and white, hardcover or the paperback version and also Kindle. I'm hoping to record the audio version of it for an audiobook. So get your copy today on Amazon.